How you doing today? Welcome to Life with Bilsif. I'm your host, Bilsif. Today on the Bilsif Show, we're using a GoPro Hero 3 Plus. I've been laying around, so I wanted to try it out and see how it's working. So let me know in the comments below how it's working. We're in 1080p super wide. Friggin' right we are. But speaking of super wide, I wanted to show you. Last night when it was dark, I ended up putting my flares on the truck. I know I didn't take you long for the ride, but you didn't miss much. But I also put the two-inch spacers on. Check that crap out, Jim. Two-inch spacers, and she looks mean. Here, let me back up a little bit. Hey, check that out, Jim. That looks awesome. But the only thing with running a two-inch, sorry about the wind here. The only thing with running a two-inch wheel spacer on the front with a little oversized tire. I got to fix that too before it rods right through. I should do that today. I'm running the stock rim on this truck and I'm running a bigger tire, 265-70R17. So it does catch the flare when you're backing up right here and makes a horrible friggin' noise. Sounds like it's gonna friggin' get this cocked right over. So somebody's already trimmed it under there. I'm just gonna fold it through and trim it up and that way uh, she should be mint and it shouldn't drag anymore. So hang out here and I got, a, I got another little secret for you too about the click clickety click in the drive shaft you're talking about that one day. I have a little gander here and we'll get this trimmed up and then we'll go from there. I don't know where I'm gonna put you for frig's sakes. Here, let me go upside down with you. Frig, where am I gonna put you? Let's try putting you on the control arm. How's that, can you see? Probably not. So. What we want to do is, we want to find that spot, which is right about there. We want to take a knife, and I don't know if this is going to work, but I'm going to try it, because I don't feel like taking them off. And we'll just wiggle it through. Give it a little wiggle job. Decent. There we go. Wiggle, wiggle. Now I should be able to wiggle it through this way. Hey. Wiggle, wiggle. Wiggle, wiggle. Let me see you. Wiggle, wiggle. Working, Jim. Keep wiggling. Uh, 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 uh. Oh yeah, it's getting right we are. <laughs> Almost there, Captain. <laughs> oh yeah. Just make sure when you're doing this, you only have the blade out a little bit in case it breaks off. You don't want to cut your hand off. See, it just broke her off. Yeah, and just as we said that. So just stick about that much out. That's all you need. Yeah, I should be able to just wiggle that, and there you go. Decent. So hopefully that stops it from going. <clears throat> I'm thinking it will. Still gonna catch this a little bit because it is against the body, but I can just get a hammer and give that a couple of rat a tat tats, and it'll be at Bob's your uncle. Let's do this. Let's trim this back. There you go. So it's on a little bit of an angle. Now I'll get a hammer and we'll whack that a couple times. Careful, Ling. Oh. That should friggin' do her. I just gotta mount that back on. We're just gonna catch that and do the same noise. Oh, frig. Unless I can get that in behind that. Hey, there's an idea. If I trim this, like this, I can probably tuck that back up behind the fender. Oh, that didn't work. Oh, I see what's going on. There we go. That's it. That did it. We gotta get this nut out of here, though. Holy f**k, is that ever long? Oh yeah, that's getting up. I'm supposed to get that out of there. <laughs> that thing's not even long enough to go on there. I'm gonna get a grinder off, Captain. There we go. Look how long that is. It's double nutted. That's definitely aftermarket. So there we go. That should stop the ribbon on that side. Now we gotta repeat on the other side. Alright, there we go. We just finished the other side. So that side's done. So let's get you mounted up here and we'll take it in the fairgrounds and give it a little test run. Alright, let's see what happens. <laughs> We did it, no more dragging on the wheels. So we got all our spacers on and everything like that and everything is mint. So be prepared if you have oversized tires. Get off there, holy shit, you hold on. So if you have oversized tires on a Chevy Silverado and you wanna put flares on some spacers, just remember, you might have to do some trimming. 
Figure eight, mate. Even for the front, this thing looks freaking decent now. Oh yeah, it's got the mean look to it. Think I'm gonna order up some headlights. Leave your comments below if you think I should order some aftermarket headlights to make her look even better. At least now you can't see the rust, Jim. I'm not a big fan of flares, but it doesn't look too bad when you run spacers. Frig, no it don't. Don't forget to leave your comments down below and let me know what you think. Why wouldn't you? And there's the look. There it is. Friggin' right. So, now what I got for you is we were having a cracky crack on the drive shaft, and a lot of you were wondering if I figured it out. I was told that it's a $40 fix. You need synthetic grease from GM to put on the yoke of the drive shaft. Now, I did try different greases, and it didn't work. So, I went out and I got the stuff they called for right there. And we're going to throw this on the drive shaft, and we're going to see if that does it on the yoke. So, we'll get some tools together, get our crawl ready, and we'll get under the truck and we'll pull that off and see if this fixes a problem and i will put the link back on the other video to tell you what fixed it if it works i'm going to pause it for a second and get ready get under the truck and we'll get going here all right so now that we're under the truck i'm hoping i grab the right size for one of these it's not that one you better not be 11 mil or i'll be pissed oh for f sakes this is what pisses me off so i get this mastercraft set and it goes from 10 to 12 and 13 but no goddamn 11. And of course, these fuckers are 11. I swear they do this just to make your life miserable. Friggin' right they do. Oh, I gotta get up and put the truck in neutral too to get the other side off. Ah, why wouldn't I have to? Oh God. Up down, up down. Here I am again. Why wouldn't I be? Oh, there she goes. Should check the oil in the rear end while I'm down here. Captain, we'll pull these out. Just be very gentle when you do this. Don't lose the caps on the drive shaft because then you lose all your little needle bearings and then it's cocked over big time. There's one. Hey, one. Give her a spinnerooski. Hopefully you can see what I'm doing. I got you on wide angle so you should be able to. I put you on wide angle on purpose because I know that where I'm going is awkward as dicks. My glasses are falling off my head. I look like half a friggin' special person. Look like half a special person to begin with anyways. You guys can't tell me anything I don't already know. Friggin' no you can't. Okay, so that's off. So there we go. So now those caps are off. That cap goes on that one. Now we got to get it off of that. Ouch! I might need a screwdriver, but I could maybe use this. Not much leverage there, but you never know. Oh, nope. Not need more leverage. There we go. That'll take some time. It's just a little levy, eh? A little leverage. Okay, so just set this down real gentle-like so we don't lose the caps. And then we'll pull it out of the front. So if you're watching up there, you'll see me yank her out. And once you get this out, it's not bad to do. There you go, she's out. So we'll set that down, and now we'll move up front. If I can get up front. Oh, dick. Oh, frig. We have to get on the ground, Jim. Can you see? Hopefully, I'll be right back. All right, so I'm going to try to walk myself under here. You're not going to see me during this video, but you'll see what I'm doing. So it says not to get this stuff on your hands, so make sure you wear gloves like I do. And we're just going to take it over here and we're going to stick our fingers in it. And we're just going to shove some in there. We're going to shove some in here. Hey, don't be shy. I'm not. And we're going to lube up all the shaft and everything. And then we're going to stick her back in. So that's what it says to do. Do you think it's going to work? Leave your comments down below. I can't see how that's going to work, but whatever. We're out of options. We're out of options. <sighs> all right. Ooh, hey. Ooh. So I'm going to have to go to the back of the truck now and try to slide that the rest of the way in. And we'll grab you and get the hell out of here. Oh god, I keep, I'm stuck. I'm stuck, Jim. Oh. Alright, let's go back under here. Thank god there's more room back here. Frig. I'm down to one hand because the other one's covered in shit. Where the f am I gonna put you now? You're getting all sorts of cock over angles today. Be privileged. There she goes. Alright, so now she's in. So let's get some more of that grease. Let's stick your fingers in there. Oh yeah, we do. Oh yeah. We'll put some here, here, hey. We'll put some in and around it. Oh yeah, just give it to it. Oh, it's beautiful. Now we'll slide this back up and we'll turn it because it's a neutral. And we'll slide her in, Jim. There we go. All right. Now we can take the gloves off. Look, I'm grease free. So this one was the one that was on the bottom. So we'll stick it back in first. It's like that. There we go. I got some grease on my fingers. Of course I did. Why wouldn't I? Let's get this snugged up and then we'll turn her. And then I'm going to grind the bottom of our friggin' door on this heavy cell rail to control some russets over there. She's getting old. Captain, just going to keep her maintained. Because I can't afford one of the new trucks right now. Or even a used truck right now. Anybody else? Leave your comments down below. Oh, this is taking forever. 
Mama made me lunch. I'm hungry. I want to eat. So we got to get this done, son, because I ain't getting back under here once I'm done. I'm coming. Remember I told you that Speedy didn't bring back Jason? He's at Bar Clean now with Charlie. <laughs> yeah, I know. Should have maybe Loctite it back in. Now that I got grease every goddamn where. Babe! Babe! I think the noise is gonna be there because I just heard it my transmission. Maybe not. <clears throat> All right, so that's what they say to do. So Dean at Sorry Our Records, you're the one said to try this, so let's try it and see what happens, bud. Hey, and thanks for the fender flares too, by the way. They fit perfect. Figure right to do it in case you're watching this video. Don't forget, if you need any used parts or anything, if you're driving old shit like me, don't forget to go to Sorry Our Records and check out what they got. Figure right, you better. Why wouldn't you? Okay, all right, Scott Chapman. Right, bud. Every time I go there, you mention me, so I know you watch it once in a while. So maybe you'll see this one. How you doing? Let's get this thing off the stand and we'll see what happens and see if this stops that crickety crackety noise. What? Holy crap, I'm getting too old for that shit. I don't know about you guys. Oh my god. Probably still gonna hear it for a minute. Go for another drive. So let's get in the truck and hear what's what. Hang on up there for a minute. Why wouldn't you? Let the goddamn door open. There we go. Gotta get the old exhaust fixed too. That's next on the agenda. Cause that's annoying as dicks. All right, so let's do a little drive around over here. Get it all lubed up nice. Keep her in low gear so she's spinning faster. $40 down the friggin' drain. Like I said, unless it takes time to wear in. We'll go over here to where the new subdivision is and check it. Like I said, we'll give it the benefit of the doubt and break her in a little bit. I'm starting to wonder if it's in my transmission. It does sound like it's up front though. Well, only time will tell. We'll let that break in for a day or so and I'll let you know if it goes away or not. But I really don't think it's going to. It sure doesn't seem to have done anything at all. Pretty sure I ran through the stop sign a minute ago. Oh, I didn't do it there. Don't you hate when flies are down around your legs when you're driving? Oh, God. Actually, it might be going away. It's getting quieter. No, nope, there's a loud one. But anyways, this is just a short little video of some maintenance and stuff like that. And like I said, I'll let you know down below if that goes away or not. But as of right now, it's still there. We'll just have to give it some time and see what happens. I can't see it because my glasses are dirty dicks. So don't forget to subscribe, like, hit the notification bell bar button if you like these kind of videos. And if not, tell me the truth. Why wouldn't you? I am always like the comments. You know that. Freaking right I do. Hopefully everyone's having a good day like I am. Don't do anything I ain't doing. And you know what to do for now. <laughs>